Today I'm going to explain how to play these dice word games for the Sunrise Readers. This is Sunrise Readers Book 1, Friends. And so it's the word dice game that you'll find on our website. Uh, first of all, you'll find free downloadable um, resources, which would be best printed on a thin card. And there's the dice to be made up, simply glued, as you'll see the one that I have done, cut out and glued in advance. And for each one, there's a matching word card. So I've already cut that out for this game that I'm going to demonstrate. Now, there are two different games, and I'm sure you will think of many else, that you can play with the same equipment. So first of all, I'll show you how to use it for, very simply for children as they are beginning. They are learning their sight words. Teachers, you are using our large, our free downloadable large classroom flashcards um, to teach the children their words. And this is a game to have fun practice. You could play it with individuals if you're homeschooling or in a classroom, you could do it in pairs, but of course you need many more resources for pairs. Um, so you may prefer to play in groups of four or six, as you could see here. So, but four children can sit around quite easily, it's up to you. So it's quite clear, the children would throw the dice, they would pick it up. For little children, for early readers, they would Put, have to put it the right way around, which is a skill in itself. Read the word David. Read it again. David. Look at the picture. Where is David? Yes. Everybody says, well done, well done. That's the reward. <laughs> the next child does, throws the game, picks it up, reads it. Rex. Rex. Find Rex. There he is. Well done, well done. It can be played a number of times. So that's one way to use these resources to play the game. Now I'll pull over another card. This is a that goes with this. I've color matched them, but this is all to do with number one. This dice is number one. Now the children are actually going to read a sentence. And they're going to have to find this word in that sentence. Now, teachers, you will know that that is demanding quite a, a lot of skill. And so, again, individuals, pairs or groups, throw the word, pick it up, read the word, David. Find the word on the board. They might have to read, look to tender. Oh, David. Right. Place it there. Well done, well done. Another child throws. Ah, read the word. Tatenda. Find the square. Look, Tatenda. Tatenda. Well done, well done. And so that's another way to play this game. Now, quite differently, you going back to the first card. You could use this game as an oral game. So, throw the dice. Rex, tell me two things about Rex. Rex. Rex is a dog. What else could you tell me? In this picture, Rex is naughty. Rex is having fun. And if the children have read the book, they may say, Rex belongs to David and Jenny and talk about Rex. So it can be a talk about game as well. Obviously, if they were to get Jenny in this, now find Jenny and talk about Jenny. They could say, Jenny is a girl. Jenny is David's sister etc etc so that's another game now one last game which would be quite different but using the word the this word card you would have cut out 
the small flashcards, I've got some here, you would have cut them out, they're all free downloadable. You might have used these, sending them home with the children in a soapbox to revise with their parents when you were introducing the sight words. And now they can be cut, uh, printed on card, cut out and used in many different ways. But I'm just wanting to use this resource. So you would, again, have the children in pairs or groups. Take the cards out of an envelope because you store them. You want to use your resources as many times as you can. You could have the group turn them all the right way up and maybe as they're sorting, the child could read the word come, down, etc., etc., and place the words out so that they can see them. Now, one of the children would be choose a square and read the sentence. I'm choosing fluff is up. Right, now find the words and make that sentence. It would take them longer, but there's fluff and is, of course it's going to take them longer to find, up. Well done, well done. They might want to build it this way, but of course we are teaching them left to right so teachers that's up to you now just one comment is you will notice with the sunrise readers with the sight word flashcards we've given you classroom flashcards with both lowercase and uppercase letters the same word will look very different to children who are learning to read so in this case someone might put fluff is up and um, you could accept that, absolutely fine. Fluff is up. Or you may point out, let's have a look. Is it a small e or is it a big e? And can you find a word with a small e? You will be teaching the children that sentences start with capital letters and end with full stops at some stage in your program. So you could choose to overlook that or not. So I'm just showing you how to use a small supply of resources in as many ways as you can at the appropriate time in the learning schedule. So I hope you find them useful. Thanks very much for listening.